You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife, Joshua Silverstein, the key to Harry's wife's real age. The age of Harry's wife is something that has caused considerable comment, analysis and dissection. The reason being is that there are many people who believe that she has lied about her age and that she's a good four or five years older than she claims to be. She maintains that she is <clears throat> 41, and that is what appears in the press and in interviews whenever her age is mentioned. There are, of course, two fundamental points that are applicable to her age. The first is the simple fact of lying about it, and secondly, of course, the link that has with the ability to have children. Of course, many people form the view that she has not actually given birth to Archie and Lilibet, and that either the children simply don't exist and actors are hired in, i.e. other people's children, or that the children do exist, but they were born of a surrogate, because both she's too old to have given birth, or it's rumoured that she has a hysterectomy when she was much younger and therefore isn't capable of giving birth. There are many people that have commented upon this issue of her ability to bear children, whether the children exist, etc., and of course question marks about her age. First of all, she wouldn't be the first person in the history of ever to have misled people about their age, and particularly with regard to the profession to which she once belonged, that of acting. It's well known that many actors and actresses lie about their age, shaving two or three, maybe even more years off it, to ensure that they remain in contention for roles, because Hollywood being particularly ageist. This is something, of course, that is often seen amongst females. And therefore, one might imagine, well, given that she was an actress, that it wouldn't be beyond the wit of anybody that she would, in fact, make herself younger than she actually was. And in the grand scheme of things, so what? Of course, there's also a further layer to this. There may be some that would lie about their age because the pressure of finding work means that it causes them to bend the truth. They're essentially truthful people, but when it comes to that aspect, faced with the prospect of not earning a living and being able to pay their bills, they say nothing wrong with shaving a few years off their age, ensuring that they get the auditions and the parts within the acting world. Bear in mind, of course, Harry's wife is a narcissist. We've established that as a consequence of looking at a wealth of material. And, of course, her continuing behaviours support that is what she is. Would a narcissist lie about their age? abso fucking lutely The concept of the truth is one that a narcissist plays fast and loose with because of that altered perspective. Remember, many of the things that the narcissist will say and do is linked to the narcissist version of truth because at the end of the day, it's all about perception. You have a perception of the world around you that you share with many other people, so you have a shared reality. The narcissist will also share part of that reality with regard to certain things. For instance, if you were to describe a tall thing, which is a sort of grey-brown colour and has stick things poking off it, which has green things at the end, which then can turn different colours, dependent upon the uh, type of object that it is, you would both agree that's a tree. You and the narcissist see the tree in a similar way. But when it comes to human interactions, as I've explained previously, a non-narcissist and a narcissist see them differently. The narcissist sees them through the prism of the narcissism, which is geared to enable that narcissist to see the world in a way to ensure that the prime aims are achieved, fuel control, character traits and residual benefits. And therefore, the narcissist will see certain interactions differently from you and not have that shared perspective that you have when it comes 
to particular interactions. Accordingly, the narcissism allows the narcissist to lie, and one of the things that may well be lied about is age. This is done, of course, because the advancement of age poses a threat to control for the narcissist. An ageing narcissist will suffer the reduction of lux, physical capability, possibly mental faculty, missed opportunity, perception that they're past it, that they're no longer desirable. And all of those factors amount to a threat to control. And therefore, the narcissism would function to nullify that threat to control by causing the narcissist to believe that they're younger than they actually are. And therefore, they would repeatedly shave a number of years off their age. Harry's wife, as a narcissist, and also one that previously competed in a world where the issue of age was, and still is, a material issue to the gaining of work, would be highly likely to tell porcupies about her age. Now, of course, contrary to this proposition that she is older than she actually is, are the repeated confirmations that have come from her family with regard to her age. They may have their own agendas for telling that information. Perhaps they believe what she's told them, and therefore they trot out that similar porky pie. Perhaps they still feel a sense of loyalty to her, notwithstanding the behaviours, and therefore maintained that. Perhaps that it is accurate, that that is indeed her age. But there is something which tends to throw a spanner in the works, and that relates to a gentleman called Joshua Silverstein. Essentially, a number of years ago, Harry's wife had an interview with Larry King. This was back in 2013. During this interview, Harry's wife explained that her first kiss was with a boy named Joshua Silverstein, and she explained that they were both 13 years old at the time. She explained that the kiss happened at summer camp. So what she's doing there is she's bringing up the past in the Larry King interview to assert control over him and the viewers. The interview naturally was broadcast, providing evidence where she says they were both 13 years old and the kiss occurred at summer camp. It took place in an interview alongside her colleague, Patrick J. Adams. Furthermore, there was an interview that Joshua Silverstein gave to the magazine The Cut. You'll remember that from last year where Harry's wife gave an interview to it where she made strange noises as part of her method of communication and still couldn't understand the difference between guttural and visceral. In that interview in The Cut, Joshua Silverstein confirmed that they shared a first kiss and that he and Harry's wife were the same age. Joshua Silverstein's biography confirms that he was born on November the 29th, 1977. Accordingly, if he was 13 at summer camp when they kissed, and if Harry's wife was born in 1981, as she states, that means that she was just nine and he was 13 when they kissed. That, on the face of it, seems unlikely. What if she was 13 at camp and was genuinely born in 1981? Well, that would mean that Joshua Silverstein would be 17. And therefore, a 17-year-old kissing a 13-year-old, well, it could happen, but it does seem less likely. And I suppose there might be some questions of legality about such behaviour. More likely, of course, is that they were the same age when they kissed, as was confirmed by her and as then confirmed by him. Interestingly, that an article by the Daily Mail, which references to Harry's wife having a first kiss at the age of 13, it refers to him, Silverstein, being 36 years old. But this was done in 2018. The interview took place with the Daily Mail in 2018, suggesting that he is 36, like Harry's wife. Yet, his biography states that he's born in 1977, and therefore he would be 41. 
those five years ago when the Daily Mail interview took place. So it would appear that there is an erroneous date provided with regard to his age in that interview. Furthermore, though, Joshua Silverstein's wife left him a happy birthday on his Facebook in November of 2018, and she wished him a happy 41st. Now, of course, Joshua Silverstein turning 41 in November of 2018 coincides with every online biography about him. It aligns with his own wife's birthday messages to him and with the years that follow, and it aligns with his 1995 high school graduation. Accordingly, it would seem that Joshua Silverstein is, was actually 41 back in 2018, meaning that he's currently 45. Furthermore, on the basis that Harry's wife was involved in having a kiss with him, where they were both the same age, which she has confirmed and he has confirmed, that would mean that she would also be 45. This, of course, raises an interesting question as to why would the Daily Mail get Joshua Silverstein's age wrong? Furthermore, it also raises questions question as to why would Samantha Markle and Thomas Markle Jr. maintain a different age? They have their reasons for doing so. Perhaps they've been misled themselves. But the point is this. There is evidence out there that comes from both Harry's wife, Joshua Silverstein, and then third parties confirming Joshua Silverstein's age that would suggest that Harry's wife isn't 41, but she's in the region of 45 to 46. Add to that the fact that a narcissist would invariably lie about age in order to assist with the prime aims, and of course, a somatic narcissist, which is what Harry's wife is, will have a preoccupation with wanting to be, remain young and beautiful and attractive, and therefore wanting to shave those years off. And therefore, not only is there evidence that supports that given she said that she was the same age as Silverstein, Silverstein is actually 45 years old, and the fact that a narcissist, of course, would play fast and loose with the truth with regard to their age, this does seem to support that actually she's older than what she maintains. This, of course, then has the ramification with regard to the question of fertility and the ability to give birth. Now, of course, it's not beyond the wit of any individual to continue to be able to give birth in their 40s, but it does mean that the prospect of conception can be reduced and also there's increased risk of complications. But somebody can, of course, give birth in their 40s. So even if she were 45, it may well be that she did give birth in her 40s. Of course, there are those that say that she's had a hysterectomy in the past, which would, of course, negate that suggestion. But it does appear that there is evidence out there, albeit with some contradictions, that support that she isn't <clears throat> 41, but she is, in fact, older. And, of course, bearing in mind that a narcissist is likely, although not guaranteed, but is likely to tell porcupines when it comes to the issue of age, there is some compelling evidence that supports that she's actually older than she suggests that she is. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.